Welcome to Research Talk. We are in our journey together to understand different research design used in case study. In our previous video, we talked about single case holistic research design. In this video, we're going to talk about another research design, which is a variation of the single case research design, and we call it single case embedded research design. In this approach, in this design, what we do, we try to identify certain subunits, sub uh, components within a single case. And that's why we call it single case embedded research design. So there is one case. So let's say this is a single case. Now within this single case, along with understanding the case holistically, we also want to focus on certain subunits in this single case. So let's say there are subunit one, two, and subunit three. So in single case research design, it's like, it's again a single case, no multiple case, so like the previous one, single case. However, in the previous research design, the focus was more holistic understanding of the case. Here, in this research design, tweak it a little bit. So again, a single case. However, we want to focus on certain subunits, components of the case, and try to understand this single case holistically, as well as in the context of subunits uh, or components within the case. So now let's think about what are some key characteristics of this case. First of all, the focus is obviously a single case here, but along with the single case, you are focusing on subunits or components of that case of the phenomenon that you are trying to focus on. This single case embedded research design helps you to get more contextual understanding of the case. Why? Because you are not only focusing on this single case, you are focusing on the subunit, subcomponents within the case. And you try to understand the relationships between these various subunits. And it, it, it helps you to get a very detailed contextual understanding of the single case. And the key characteristic of this uh, design is it helps you to do some data triangulation as well. What is data triangulation? So let's say when you are collecting data from one case, you are focusing on certain subunits, and then you are trying to understand and sort of connect the data you collected from, let's say, subunit one, subunit two, how they are related, how they are kind of informing or interacting together, how these various subunits in one case are interacting with each other, informing each other, influencing each other. And that is where you collect the data and do some data triangulation, which leads to more comprehensive analysis of the case. So more comprehensive analysis. Another key feature of single case embedded research design is like the single case holistic research design, it can be used for multiple focus or purposes. What it means, you can use it for exploratory purposes. Exploratory purposes means that you are investigating a single case and then within this single case, you are focusing on various subunits, components. So you are exploring all these new subunits. So more exploratory, you are developing more, exploring more detail, more information related to 
not only the case but also the subunits. So what is happening? More the focus of this single case embedded design is more on exploratory in nature. Similarly, you can also use this design to more uh, descriptive focus. Descriptive purposes focus meaning that when you are collecting the data, your your focus is uh, getting more description of the case holistically and also description of the subunits or the components within that case. So you are focusing more on describing rich uh, detail of the case. And finally, you can make it more explanatory in nature. So explanatory focus is you are trying to understand your focus, if this is a case, a single case, then you are trying to understand the explanatory means how these various subunits, what is the relationship between them, relationship, uh, cause effect, connection as well. So you are trying to understand the ca causality within this single case uh, in the context of this different uh, subunits, components, and how they are affecting the overall phenomenon, overall experience of this single case, which might be anything, an individual, a program, an event. So these are some key features of single case embedded design. One thing you should keep in mind that it's, uh, it's very similar to the single case holistic design, what they change it, they identify certain subunits within that single case where they want to focus and understand the phenomenon in more detailed fashion. Now, when do you use um, a single case embedded research design? You use when you are interested in understanding a single case with all different components, all different important components or subunits that you want to explore how they are related, how they inform the overall experience, how they interact, how they overall influence the dynamic, how they overall go together and maybe influence each other. So you are uh, along with the overall experience of the one case, you are also focusing on understanding these subunits, subconnections. And for that reason, when you are focusing on a single case design, you need to first identify these subunits, right? So you need, if, if you are exploring a case, a single case, if there is no identifiable subunits, this research design may not be as suitable because you need to identify first these subunits, these components, to use this research design. And as I said previously, the focus, uh, this research design is suitable when you want to focus on overall case, but also how this overall case situated with its components, with its various components or subunits. So this is where it really fits in. Now let's, let me use an example to explain this single case embedded research design. Let's say you, uh, you want to study a family which has a member diagnosed with uh, let's say ADHD. So this is your case. Your case is this family. And since this is one case, so obviously a single case, you are studying this one family. And you want to understand how, when you have a member who is diagnosed with ADHD, how does it impact overall the experience, the dynamic, how people cope with that, and all those dynamics you want to understand. So in this example, the case is 
the unit is the family but you could say that within this one single case which is one family here there could be multiple subunits that you can identify so what could be some possible subunits in that one case first of all a family member let's say it is a child with ADHD so this is one component one subunit the other subunit could be the parents so mom and dad other subunit could be if there is let's say some siblings another possible subunit could be family dynamics that include how overall functioning of the family uh, family communication you can also it could also be like how some social support here yeah. so what do you see the the single case is one family and within that one family i want to understand what is the experience uh, how does <clears throat> when you have a family member with diagnosed with adsd how does it all uh, look like you know what are the experiences and how family cope with that so if i want so here the case is one family within one family yes i want to understand this phenomenon in its totality but i also want to focus on the subunits so one subunit is children the child with adsd the other subunit is parents then siblings if there are any and then overall family dynamics so there are four subunit so i can use single case embedded design to explore this one case with multiple sub units so that's example number 1 let's take another example let's say i want to explore uh, a health care family plan uh, which is implemented by let's say government and so this is one program let's say this program is implemented in florida so this this program is my single case and within this one single case i can identify certain subunits what might be certain subunits uh the people who are receiving the healthcare services so receiving the services people who are delivering the services and the team which is coordinating the services and then let's say government policy and all that so these are sub units within this one single case which is a government program in this case and when i am doing when i use this single case embedded design along with understanding this whole program i'm also focusing on these other units sub units and i'm trying to understand how they are influencing each other how they are related to each other how they are leading to overall experience and success of this healthcare plan i hope these two examples have helped you to understand what is single case embedded design what are some key characteristics when it is used and what are some uh, some ways to understand and, and and use it if you are planning a dissertation study or you are planning an independent research study by using single case embedded design thank you very much and i'll see you in another video talking about another case study research design thanks